All right, welcome to aswebdeveloper.com. We are embedding links inside of our website that we will be able to open without leaving our website. That will allow us to keep our header. This is a site we're working on. It will allow us to keep our header and so on. Uh, for an example, um, this is a, a map, this link here, of the local area. My client did not want them to leave his website when they view the map. Uh, now, the map is actually on another website, not this one. So by, by doing this, this allows us to see it. Um, I might have to open my VPN here. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is an actually different website that we've loaded inside the one website. The links are clickable, like we want to click on one, the links will change. Uh, you get full access to the site, um, and then you got everything on the bottom. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to go back now. Uh, the next one we're doing, I've already done Burnview Mountain, so the next one we're going to do is this Bill Copeland Arena here. Let's just open that up in a new window. Um, in the meantime, while that's loading, you're going to have to download a plugin. I've already done it. It's called the Easy iframe Loader. So I've done that for you. Um, through here, you can read this. The link goes to the documentation page. I've already opened it. Um, so I'm going to copy this link here. Just copy that like that. Uh, we're going to need that. And then uh, I'm going to make a new page. So let's go up to the top here. Close this. It says New Page. So click that. Let's paste our code into the body here. So we've got our code there now. Let's see, the name of the website is going to be, or the page is going to be Bill Copeland Sports Arena. Let's copy that in there. Make that our title. All right, so we've got some things we need to go through. Their documentation is not the best. It uh, has these funny backwards quotes in there. We're going to change them to normal ones. Uh, I'm going to keep my loader width 100%. Um, I'm going to change this one here to 1500 because I like to have the whole website viewable. I don't like to have to use those little scrolling bars. Um, change these to single quotes. Uh, long description, we're not going to have one. We can just delete that. Any options you don't want, you can just delete. Our margin height, we're going to keep that zero. Change our, our quotations again. Uh, margin width, same thing. We'll keep it zero. I'm not going to have a name, so I'll go ahead and delete my name, make this more simple. Uh, clickable words, no, I'm not going to have those either, so I'll just delete that. No need to keep those in there. All right, so we've got our URL. Let us replace that. Uh, let's copy over the, the URL we want, which is this one here. We've opened the page, actually. Let's just take their, their page there. And let's paste that in there. Put our, uh, our other double quote in there. Um, scrolling auto, yes. Remember, change that to single quotes. Single quote. All right, and then we've got our source. Of course, we want a double quote. Paste our link in. All right, my theme, I want to choose uh, this, which is just, you probably don't have to worry about it, but I don't want a sidebar. So I'm going to publish that. Well, it seems I have lost internet, so let's just uh, reconnect our internet here, even though it says connected. I'm in China, so sometimes there's problems. When I have problems, I just turn on my VPN. Usually that takes care of the situation. Hopefully we'll get some internet here. All right, yeah. So I got I got internet again. I'm gonna publish that. Let's see. Let's view our page. Make sure everything's good. As you can see, we're on the right site here. Um, the page we're looking at, this one here, that is now on here. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's all clickable. We can click on stuff, so that's good. Um, let's copy this link here. We're going to use this link, and we're going to replace another one. So copy that. Let's go back over here. 
Uh, this is the page we want to edit. We want to make this link here, right? So let's edit the page. We'll scroll down to where that was. That's the Bill, Co uh, Bill Copeland Sports Arena. So we're just going to replace that whole link there. All right, so we got that in there. Oh, let's go back. I made a mistake there. Uh, we just want to replace it, the middle part here. All the way to the end. Control D. All right, so I don't like the way this is set up. It's not that pretty. I'm going to I'm going to take the title here. Cut that out. I'm going to put that in here. He's got a just so you can see the link there, which is not not that nice looking. So I'm going to put that in there. And that should be that. Um, I'm going to update. All right, page updated. Let's view page. Make sure everything's working for us. All right, so now it's looking nice, just like this one, right? If we click on it, it opens up perfectly. Uh, sometimes there's issues. Uh, WordPress will add a few. Uh, percentage dash at 80% something or other and it'll make a broken link um, when that happens just go back to your edit page and and delete the last uh, several characters of the link um, oh, that's the wrong page let's go back here back to the uh, the other page there alright so when that happens and, and this link doesn't work you can just edit the page Go down to the link, which is right here, down a little bit more. Uh, yeah, right here. Um, start with the quotation. Delete the last several. So let's go back to P. Oh, there we go. P complex, right? Slash, and then apostrophe. And then just resave it. And that should fix any problems with the link not working. Of course, this time it worked great. We didn't have that problem. But when I made the link above it, we did have that problem. Um, so that, that's how you can fix that. Let's view page. Make sure it's working, of course, because we made a change. Um, and there you are, it's working just fine. So that's that. Hope you guys have a nice day. This is aswebdeveloper.com.